This this uh. bro here can't believe Mania is in two weeks. Where have you been, brother? It's in two weeks. Nobody cares. I had somebody on my Twitter I earlier care. on just say, I'm "Well, for I mean, WrestleMania. but there's a lot of people who aren't because I mean, look, if you're not interested, if your number one thing with WWE is not Johnny Knoxville, is not Pat McAfee, is not that sort of thing." I mean, you got Roman and you have Brock, which has been the best thing in all of pro wrestling since the time it started. But the reality is, there's not a whole lot else to sink your teeth into, is there? If you're, if you well, are wrestling first, I want to say this because, uh, and I'm a fair man, yes. and somebody here on the uh, chat says that the builds for these matches have been horrible. Listen, he said the 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 builds been atrocious. Here's the deal. Yeah. Okay. No, hold on. Hold on a second. Hold in on. In some cases. I'm a fair man. If you don't watch the shows and you're only listening to like recaps or whatever, I mean, you may think that the build has been bad, but let me tell you something. If you look at the build for this show as compared to virtually any other show they've done in the last, I don't even know how long, they have done a very good job. It's a fair low bar. Build. It is a low bar, but it's true. <laughs> Let's look at the matches here. Uh, Becky and Bianca, they're doing a good job with that. I mean, they've done angles. They've tied in the storyline leading all the way back to SummerSlam. We're probably going to end up having title versus hair. I mean, drops have been beaten a few times. Tell me another women's match that they've done a better job building up than this one. It's not Charlotte and Ronda. That, I mean, they've tried, okay? But, it's, but it hasn't I'm been as totally good. I'm totally not into that feud at all, and I think the match is going to be bad, okay? But they're trying, all right? There you go, yeah. Ray and Dominic versus The Miz and Logan Paul. I mean, they've they've had focus on that. I mean, it hasn't been like a, a fantastic build. I'm not giving like you that. that one. I'll give you the other one. 1-1 one, one right now. Uh, Drew McIntyre and Happy Corbin with the Madcap Moss thing. I mean, they've been building up Drew and Corbin for like two months now. And Drew's been kicking ass. I'll give yes, you that one. Yes. Usos versus Shinsuke Nakamura and Rick Boogs. Listen. They haven't really done an angle, but bro, if you've been watching SmackDown, I can't wait to see this match because this <laughs> Boogs is awesome. Is this a push? We'll call guys, this a push. Yes, of course. Have you guys been watching Boogs? Push. He does his comeback no, no. where he literally <laughs> presses guys. Remember how the Warrior would put a guy and he'd bounce him on his head and he'd go, because <laughs> he's all blown up and he'd do like one press and drop him? Yes. Boogs gets in there and he's one, two, three. He does 12. <laughs> then he holds a guy and he starts curling a human. One, two, three. Three, and then he hits his finish and pins him. Bro, this guy is awesome. I'm still calling this a draw for right now. This oh, is a draw. Man. I'm Usos not giving you that versus one. Nakamura and Boogs. That's going to be a sleeper. Mark my words. And Charlotte and Ronda, they've been trying, but eh, I've never a good job. At least though. they're beating the hell out of each other. At least they're going off the air with like just nonsense happening between the two. It's a, it's an attempt, but this is another one. I'll put it in the category of of Boogs and Nakamura, and uh, I mean, it's right now. It's in the middle right now. It's I can't I can't say it's been good because it really, I, I mean, it hasn't. I guess okay. You want to give it? I'll, I'll I got to keep thermal. going here. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right. I have not. I you, have though. not been into Edge and AJ. I think the build for this match sucks. No, I mean, it seems. Yeah, it's no. It's whatever. Uh, I also am not a fan of the four-way women's tag build. Also no. sucks. Yes. You got weak champions who who like aren't into each other, and uh, it's just horrible. It's everything that's wrong with the women's division outside the top. Now, do not tell me that they have not done a good job with Johnny Knoxville and Sami Zayn. <laughs> they've done a very good job with that match. I don't even want to hear they've done a bad job with Pat McAfee and Austin Theory. They've done a really good job with that match. Well, no, and Pat McAfee's Pat done McAfee, a good job. Dude, this guy was so awesome on SmackDown Friday. He is unbelievable. And then, I, I, dude, go to the YouTube chat if you're going to tell me they haven't done a good job with Brock and Roman. They've no. done an excellent job yes. with that match. So, yeah, is it the best build to a WrestleMania I've ever seen? Well, of course not. Like, you got to go back to to when you would you know build a WrestleMania for a year or, or at least three months from Royal Rumble. But, but, going back years... I mean, show me WrestleManias where they've done a better job building these matches. I want to hear it. But the problem is, again, and it's all a matter of what you look at, when you are when you would rather see, say, a build towards Ricochet and Sami Zayn in a rematch or something like that, or have these angles be treated with 
not the same gravity as Brock and Roman, but kind of the same, like, let's take them more seriously. And that's the problem is even though some of these builds have been, uh, they have been okay, they really haven't been all that good. There isn't that fire behind Charlotte and Ronda as there once was. There isn't that fire behind some of this stuff as maybe there should be. And if you are looking at matches first and aren't that WWE fan first that really is looking for the anything can happen at WrestleMania, you know, big party, which for this is your year for it with Vince McMahon and Cody is and all of this random stuff that's supposed to be taking place and all of these celebrities, quote unquote, like the Logan Paul of the world that are going to be there if that's not your bag then yeah i mean this whole thing has been relatively weak and dragging for a wrestlemania rob bartlett is the man he tried the best he can vince on the new what rob Bartlett's gonna do to you vinnie v happy corbin and bartlett in a three-way oh here comes the commentator, Rob Bartlett, he's a great imitator of Vince McMahon. Rob, you're the love of my life, come back to Monday Night Raw and be my wife. <laughs> what? Oh, wow. Is this Rob Bartlett? Guilty as ch- Hey, oh, look who's star. here on the show, everybody. There's a star here. Rob, hey, Rob Bartlett is joining us here today. How you doing, Rob? I don't know what to say about this. To actually be proposed to in song was a beautiful thing. <laughs> I couldn't really do much of an impression of him other than the, the tone of the voice, you know. <laughs> he still got it. <laughs> He still got it. I think I had the wrong guy. Well, what, what did you learn about the the Rob Bartlett that you you uh, you checked out? He was an explorer way back when. That's not him. <laughs> well, I don't know. He was born August fifteenth, eighteen seventy five. And so, died and you, April 28, nineteen forty six. He died in okay, but you thought he might be on the show this week. Well, I couldn't figure out why you guys picked him. Here you go to the Brian and Vinnie Matt Cleary Memorial Hall of Awesome. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Hey. Aye, 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 aye. Well, there he goes. Very aye. prestigious. You get nothing. You've warmed the cockles of my heart. I have warm cockles now. And um, Lucky fella. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm moist. I'll just say that. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm moist. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.